Hi guys, it's me, Rowan Huang. <laughs> Since we talk about so many ghost story, I thought we now any topic related to ghosts. I thought we um, stop, you know, start this topic, <laughs> which I find related. But anyway, it's very interesting um, nowadays that you realize when people are talking about spirituality, like. What I realize the trend nowadays is people seriously believe the reality and spirituality are two separate things. <laughs> that is, when people talk about ghosts, it's very often I hear people saying, you know, I don't believe in ghosts, um, I don't see them, you know, they don't exist, or, you know, vice versa, you know, the, things like that, like, et cetera. Basically saying, you know, that's totally different world I have no connection with and things like that. But what I'm here trying to say to you guys is, it took me years to realize how our world is so parallel in a way. It's kind of freaky, right? That is, whether the world that you see or you don't see, like, it kind of parallel in a way that you reflect something in your real life. That is, disregard you see ghosts or not, you actually have ghosts in your life. And then you will say, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, actually, through my psychic journey, I'm actually quite grateful about that because I realized by if sometimes I got lost without opening my mind, accepting all the possibility and understand or urge to know like all area, I probably would never figure it out my life in certain area. Does that, does that make sense to you? Like for me to figure it out my reality, how to solve it, very often I learn it through dealing with spirit, dealing with spirituality and things like that. So, you know, vice versa. So basically a lot of time I couldn't figure it out, the spiritual world or things like that. I have to use a lot of logic, reality, like how I would deal with it to bring it back and deal with my spirituality. By working a lot of, you know, crossover, that's, that's exactly where it brings to where I am today and able to share with you guys or using more, you know, scientific term to explain um, spirituality. So anyway, today, since we talk about ghosts, <laughs> which, you know, for people like me who see ghosts, I want to talk about don't let the ghost stop in your life. The reason I want to talk about that is we do have a lot of ghosts in our life. Not like they are a people or form or things like that. But what I try to say is we have a lot of, you know, um, idea of ghosts. Like we do not see, we don't touch them, but they haunt us every day. Do you know what I mean? So such as you have a memory of your childhood that was, you know, like very bad and then scared you then, you know, even though it's been 10 years past, 20 years past, or even 40 years past, it still haunt you. It haunt you on every decision you make. Every time you're making certain decision, this ghost seems to, you know, come right next to you, whisper next to your ears. Therefore, you create fear and you're afraid to make the same mistake or you're afraid to even live your life. So, those things would be, you know, let me give you an example. There would be a lot of things like, you know, in the childhood you might do something, you might make a mistake and somehow your parents, you know, scolding you or people laughing at you and basically saying, oh, how stupid you are and then you'll never be good enough, you're not good enough. This, this memory then form a ghost. You know what I mean? It becomes a fear in you. Yes, you do not see them, you do not touch them, but yet you are afraid of them. You know what I mean? So that is no different from the girl I mentioned yesterday, like who do not see ghosts, but yet afraid of ghosts. You know what I mean? So continuously she will be haunted by this thing that she does not see just because other people say so. So look in your real reality. I'm here to tell you we do have a lot of ghosts like haunting us or even stop us from living. We worry about people judging us. We worry about how, how people are going to perceive us, how they're going to, you know, al evaluate us, how they're going to criticize us. Before we even um, dealing with things or some before something that even happened, we already worry how bad it's going to be. 
due to our past experience. So then we start contributing the energy to it to manifest. As I say, if you by now assuming you follow me two hundred episode, you can kind of start connecting all the dot together. How we slowly contribute our energy, then we start manifest our reality. So even though the thing is not happened yet, we already. Directing it to happen the way we want it to be, or you don't want it to be. Why? Because we have this ghost in us that been hunting us, that been telling us you cannot do it, you will fail, you will never succeed, you are not good enough, right? Whatever that ghost is, as I say, everybody's different. So in this case, you will ask me, how can I? Well, if now I'm aware, I do have this ghost that's been hunting me or following me for forty years. Continue saying, you know, you're stupid, you're not good enough, you're ugly, you will never be successful, you will never be as pretty as other people. Trust me, I'm believing by now. I'm saying this. You guys all have that little voice in you, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. That that is the ghost I'm talking about. Do you touch it? No. Do you feel it? No. Do you even see it? I mean anything? No, no, no. But it was so real to you. You know, what I mean, it's so real to you. Like it's an actual person right there, ho- hovering over you and telling you you cannot go anywhere without me. Right. So, how do you get rid of them? How do you get rid of them? Is basically the same thing that I refer us previous episode. You get rid of them the same way you would get rid of the ghost. How? Own it. Once you start owning your ownership, I appreciate myself. I love myself. You know, I believe I can do it. Right? All of a sudden, you will realize the voice of this ghost start to get weakening, and you know, as the stronger you get. So the stronger you get, the weaker they get. They will get to a point that their voice no longer matter to you. You know what I mean? Their voice no longer matter to you. So also, I notice. By me to get rid of all those voices. Trust me, there are many of them. I'm not just talking about one. Sometimes we will have a whole bunch, <laughs> right? For me to slowly get rid of them, it actually take a long practice. But I also realize most of people have fear due to unknown. I'm scared because I don't know. I'm scared because I don't know. A lot of time is、um, we have a perception how the situation gonna be worse, how people gonna say it's not really. So it's simply based our perception. So I realize to get rid of that, get rid of that wrongful perception is、um, to ask, to validate, right? So through the validation or through the process of knowing myself better, through the process to start making all the false perception right to the correct place, then I realize, oh. I thought that's a look like they always talk things about me. You know, have you guys have that experience? That、like、you walk into a room and all of a sudden you kind of glance someone have a talk like whispering. All of a sudden you enter a room and they just shut up. And right at the moment you think they were talking about you. You know what I mean? So have you ever? Then you have a story creating within yourself, and you start thinking, "Oh my God, they're saying something really bad about me." And then you go home feeling bad and continue brewing at that story, of how I'm not good enough, right? But have you ever at that particular moment, you just walk in, say, "Hey, what are you guys talking about?" And then realize they simply talk about I don't know something politic or something that's so irrelevant to you, you know, it's so irrelevant to you. But they simply stop because they felt they don't want to have the topic that boring other people. You know what I mean? Those what I call reality check. A lot of time, we, in that moment happen instead of allowing our story to create a bigger story within ourselves. That better way is to actually go and verify it, or you know, validate it, or clarify it, or finding out what the truth is. You know what I mean? So. Even even they will be, which I think is very seldom. Moment you might actually find out people is talking about you. You also have a choice. You have a choice to decide if those are the people you wanna hang hang out with, or do their comment really matter to you? Like for me, especially me. Come on, spiritual or psychic or whatever. I got a lot of people criticize me, <laughs> but. The reality is, do I hang out with them all the time? No. So at this point, their comment really mean nothing to you. So what I'm saying is, we all have ghosts around us. You know, whether you believe ghosts as that or ghosts as you know your self creation ghost, 
That's what I call self-creation goals. We do allow them or give them power or fear of them so much, like they have power over me and decide how our life should go and stop us from living. So I'm here to say is at this moment I'm doing this broadcast to let you know. I get it. A lot of time you say you know ghost topic. I have you know I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> you know I don't believe in. I don't see it and things like what I'm here to say. Do believe in it. The reason you do want to believe in it is then you open your mind to allow all kind of possibility. When you have that possibility, you can then use the knowledge to work on one or the other, right? Because I do realize the reason we have fear is be- because we don't know. We don't know. The moment we start to know better, we somehow feel stronger, right? Then we don't. We are not afraid anymore. We. We are not scared anymore because we know better, right? Before you go to elevate, you go to the roller coaster. You're so afraid because you think you're gonna die, really, and then you're gonna continue fight it. I think I'm gonna die. But the point is, the moment you start to know better, know better us, understand how it's built, understand how safe it is, understand the strategic or thing like that, then you realize you're no longer that afraid. You may still be afraid, but you're not that afraid. So I do. At this point, realize the best way to overcome our fear, the fear of unknown, is to know better. So, if you do caught it, you do caught you have some kind of fear like that, so called invisible ghosts, the ghosts you create for yourself. You've been allowing them to stop you from living, like stop you from talking to people, interact to people. To some, I know, even stop them from leaving their own house. They're so afraid to leaving their own house. Now I say it's time. Let's deal with it. Let's face it. Let's work it. How do we work it? Start to appreciate ourselves better. Start to love ourselves a little bit more. Start to know, look into the area that we don't know. So we won't let those unknown fear continue hovering over us. So anyway. Just here to share a little bit inside with you guys, just because you know, very often I hear people say, you know, I don't believe in that, or based on that, I don't, you know, they don't exist. What I'm saying, they do exist, and you do know they are everywhere in your life, whether you see or you do not see. So instead of worrying about that, convince yourself they don't exist, so you can think, I'm no longer afraid of you. Really, the best way. Let's deal with you. You know, since I don't know you, let me look into you. So one day you're no longer my problem. So at least that's what I say to myself. So just now I share with you all again. If you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website ryown.com. Till then, I see you guys next time. Bye.